good astronaut shows up and says, hey, here's a video of Pete Torres. It's a bit meta, um, but I think you'll be all right. All right, so here's the tools that I use in order to make a video of Pete Torres. In order to record this thing, I use something called Streamlabs. Uh, it is the very best program for this. I'm talking about not here for the FCC, but here at Can C or Can Go C or Go in the back. I can make this thing run. Now, Screen Core is a little bit pricey for this stuff, and I'm going to not use it for this stuff. That's my choice. Um, but it, it's, it's the very best. You can do editing with it, in it, all of it. So let me show you. I have it open right now. Um, and I can just click on a clip, and uh, I'm able to flip the clip. Um, marker, I can split it up, move something to it, um, I can add it to my media, all sorts of stuff. It's a very, very pricey, it's called Screen Flow Enhancer. Um, and uh, let's get the, the site ready so I can show you. So I can just set it, speed it up or slow it down. So um, obviously it doesn't have any power or any effect on my flow or what it goes, um, but the, you know, it's kind of made me sweat a bit. So uh, at this site right now, we're just going to use this one. Kind of zooming in on it. That's something I love to do. In order to access that clip, I go in here and it's located in the software. It's six in the software folder. You can see it on my iPad. Go down to Universal Access, click it, and then you get the option to turn on Zoom. Shortcut key for this is Control Alt plus sign, Control Alt minus sign. There's a couple of options. I'm going to go into options. I've set the maximum zoom to four. It seems to be a pretty good thing. You can go past it, but I have peace to it. I like to smooth the images, and I like to follow continuously the pointer. Of course, follow continuously the pointer, it just keeps the point sharp. It makes it look like it's straight. If I didn't have that on, it would be super weird. Um, but it's in the middle of the screen, so it's good. So that's how I zoom in on this. And if you ever check that limitation set, where is it? Well, let me just show you guys this one here. Let's go home. The other thing that I use is a microphone. Actually, for this recorder, I was late because I'm using this Zoom microphone. Uh, but uh, when I'm not feeling lazy, um, I use this little thing. Um, it is the uh, Samson C01U. Uh, it plugs directly into the USB. It comes with software. Obviously, if I had a pen pal, I would use something more professional. Um, but it, it just seems to work. Uh, it seems to be a good enough uh, cheap plug and it's a lot of fun to use. Um, so that's the best solution. I pulled it up like a few years ago, but no advice for sure on that one. Um, another program that I use is something called Backlight. Uh, now this makes it so it, it's uh, located on, um, just Google map backdrop. It's located at this URL. And it just makes it so if you ever go to your, um, you know, your your desktop, you're not seeing all sorts of random stuff. You're just seeing the solid color background. All right. One more thing that I really love to use is something called MySpace. Um, so it's located at this URL called uh, it's called MySpace at Canon. Um, the actual builder mouse is a bug. I don't find it too useful, so I do not use it. However, the ability to do things such as um, activate and level up your PC with a click of the mouse and do things like that is cool, but even better, it shows a click of the mouse. So if I press F, it shows that. I click something like Photoshop, it works really well. You can see exactly what it's pressing. If I click all sorts of buttons, you see them. If I just click a few commands with it, you see all of them. And that's just my uh, mouse click of the mouse. This is the mouse click of the mouse. Uh, and those are basically all of my keyboards. I mean, there's, there's not too much else to show here. This is just the uh, interface for Screen Core. So, uh, yeah, so if you want to make a clip, oh, one, one other thing, uh, plan ahead. Um, so, for instance, I did a tutorial dealing with the stamp tool, and I set up all of my files in advance, exactly what I want. Um, and it shows it in a very succinct tutorial. I think I have it here. Photoshop, I can click on that, or uh, various other programs that I have, or just, you know, it's all about the flow. You know, there's a lot of things that uh, you can do here, and there's a lot of things that you can do here. In order to stop your recording, you go up here, click stop, then it'll do that, and it'll take you to the next one. All right, James.